In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your passion using a new technique you have never heard of. In fact, I struggled to find my passion for years until I used this very same technique and now I'm very clear about my passion. It helped me to come up with clear, concrete, meaningful goals in my life. I'm Vahid, the founder of Best and Simple the place where you get the best content in the simplest way possible. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our educational videos. If you look at the most successful business people around the world, they are those who follow their passion. But if it is that simple, why still so many people hate their jobs? 50% of Americans would change their job if they are given a chance. The problem is in the foundation of finding passion. You probably read books, watch videos, or took quizzes to find your passion, and are still wondering, I used to be there. The problem with all resources I studied about passion was that they look at passion from one angle. They all try to help you discover what you enjoy doing by asking few quiz type questions. It's not going to work like that. There is more into it. In this video, we are going to tackle the problem of finding passion using our you technique. We look at your passion from four perspectives to have a holistic approach toward finding your passion. In fact, I'm going to share with you my own experience and lessons learned during my journey working for Fortune 500 companies in the several different careers in the last 20 years. Our you technique to find your passion stands for action and activities that you enjoy doing, result you dream to achieve, environment you like to work at or do those activities and yourself what your job allows you to be without further ado let's jump into it finding passion is more than just seeking what you enjoy doing of course that's a very important question but it's not the only one the first perspective that you need to pay attention when trying to find your passion is the actual type of activities actions tasks that you enjoy doing that's the part that all articles about finding passion focus on. And they start with the cliche question, what do you enjoy doing? Honestly, that question didn't help me to find my passion because our minds have been conditioned or like pressured with this society. When we are asked about the question of what do you enjoy doing, our mind unconsciously try to come up with an activity that is accepted by society and there is a financial success or fame attached to that. Instead, I prefer to ask the following question to discover your passion. What would be your daily routine if you were the richest person in the world? By asking this question, we factor out money and competition from the equation. Because passion should not be conditioned with money or competition. Think about this question and list down your daily routine in the comment section below. I'm really curious to see what would be your daily routine if you were the richest person in the world. Not only it will help you to find your passion, but also you will see there are so many activities that you can do it right now, but for some reason you procrastinate them until you achieve your goals. Let me give you an example. When I asked this question from myself, one of the daily routine I listed was simply doing yoga every day. Then I asked myself, wait a minute, I'm trying to achieve all my life goals so that yoga can be my daily routine? I can do it right now and since then yoga become my daily routine and honestly I feel amazing about it. It's shocking that how our minds are sometimes conditioned to postpone these simple activities to a time that we achieve all of our life goals. We always say that if I was rich I would do this and that. but if you think deeply and honestly about your daily routine as the richest person in the world, you will see there is so many routines that you can do it right now. And it has nothing to do with the level of your wealth. To help you in this self-discovery journey about finding your passion, I have listed a few hundreds of activities and hobbies in a spreadsheet that you can download and see which one you are passionate about. The download link is in the description box below. I have a few quick tips for you guys. When looking for your passion, don't limit your mind to jobs. Think beyond that. You can create a job that never existed based on your unique passion. There was no job posting as CEO of Amazon until Jeff Bezos created that. Same for Uber, Facebook, you name it. That's how you make your passion your job. Another tip I wanted to warn you is that to watch out not to fall in the trap of thinking about results. And we all want the result. And we think that's our passion. 
But are we passionate about the process and the steps to get the result? Let me clarify that with an example. Often I see that when people are asked about their passion, they say that they want to be rich or successful business owners or they are passionate about making money. But they are all result. You have to be aware of the process to get there. Are you passionate about the hardworking process to get there? There are a few more questions that help you to discover your passion. Think of the skills that you are great at. What do you like to study? Find what energizes you. What is the work you can't not do? Now that we talked about activities that we are passionate about, let's jump into the second perspective. You need to have a look into the result. It's very important to look into your passion with the end in mind. Graham Stephan, a successful real estate agent and YouTuber, said in one of his videos that he was passionate about being a drummer in a band when he was at high school. But when he saw that these great musicians and drummers he knows end up living out in their vans, he changed his mind and eventually became passionate about real estate. So he saw the end result of following that passion. He didn't like it. That simple. That's why it is very imperative to look at your passion from all four perspectives I'm going through in this video. You got to have a good feeling about the result of what you are going to achieve by following your passion. Results have to be in line with your life goals. You got to know what you want to get out of it. You have to be clear about it. You can ask like, when you are retired, what do you like to be known or remembered for? Let's get into step number three, environment. The third perspective that you need to consider when finding your passion is to think about the environment you will thrive. Are you more efficient in high pressure environment or more laid back environment? Can you operate better in competitive landscape or you need to take your time? Do you like corporate environment or self-employed landscape? Do you like partnership or working solo? Like I said in my previous example, you may be very passionate about the kind of task and activities you are doing at your job, but you don't enjoy the environment. One of the main reasons employees leave their job is because they are not happy with the environment they are working in. For example, they don't like the way they are being treated by their coworkers or their boss. So figure out in what kind of environment you are going to follow your passion and see if the job you are trying to get has such an environment. And the last but certainly not the least, being passionate about your job is not just about what you do on your daily basis at work, but who your job allows you to be. Let me give you an example. When I was 28, I figured out I'm so passionate about sales and marketing and growing businesses. So I changed my career from technical engineering to sales and marketing. I was working in a big corporate Fortune 500 as an account manager. My job description matched with my passion. I was very successful overachieving by 400% all my targets. But still, I had a feeling that something is wrong. Still, I was dreading go to work every morning. I figured out that even though what I was doing in terms of my daily tasks were perfectly matched with my passion, the company I was working for at the time didn't allow me to be myself. So many times I had to follow in a strategy which was not in line with my values or working style. Moving from point A to B, I was always pushed by corporate policy to follow their procedures. Even sometimes I had to lie, hide some numbers or not being straightforward and sacrifice my values for business numbers. I didn't have autonomy or independence in my job. In short, the job didn't allow me to be myself, and it was energy draining, even though my job description perfectly matched my passion. So when following your passion, it's very important to know who you are as a person, not as your job title. What is your element, your nature, your framework to make decisions, your values, Try not to be influenced by peers, parents, society, or corporations. It's all about you and only you, not what others expect from you to be. I'm not telling you to be a rebel at work. We are still at the stage of finding your passion. I mean, do they let you thrive through your own innovative approach toward getting the job done and deliver the results? Or do you always have to sacrifice your values 
and your working style. You got the idea. So ask yourself, what this particular job allows me to be as a person? Is it aligned with my true self or do I have to play someone else? So if you are trying to find your passion, it's very important to look at that from all four perspectives that we have talked about. Let's recap. Question. How to find your passion? You got to look at that from four perspectives using our you technique. One, to find out what kind of activities you are passionate about, ask yourself, what would be your daily routine if you were the richest person in the world? Two, visualize the result you are going to achieve by following your passion to see if this is exactly what you're looking to achieve in your life. Three, think about ideal environment where you thrive and enjoy working. Four, the activities, results, and environment that you are passionate about, what they all allow you to be. Your passion is not just what you enjoy doing, but also about the result you like to achieve in what environment and who you as a person are going to be. You got to look at that in a very holistic way to avoid misunderstanding of your passion. Okay, now that we have this technique to find your passion, I have a bonus tip for you guys. I call it machine of success. The input of this machine is your passion and the output is success, money, fame, or whatever you define as success. Let me show you how this machine works. I got this idea from Mark Cuban. Now that you know your passion, you start working hard on it, which makes you become good at it. As a result, you enjoy more about what you're doing. So you become more passionate about it. And that makes you work even harder, but maybe this time effortless. And the cycle goes on and on. As you keep going, you become a master at what you're doing and then good things start happening. Like money, fame, happiness, success, or whatever you're looking for follows you. I call this machine of success. I know it's a lot of information now, but don't worry, I simplified the gist of this video in an infographic that you can download it. I linked it down below. Now let's do an experiment. I want you guys to tell me in the comment section below what would be your daily routine if you were the richest person in the world? Write at least three of your daily routines in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and got value from it. Now I need your support to be able to create more educational videos like this. And your support can be as simple as liking this video or subscribing to my channel. Thank you and see you in the next one.